Hi, my name is Vin Arjuna Marti. I'm the founder and the designer of Soul Motion, a conscious dance practice. Soul Motion is an atmosphere of enlivened awareness. It's a movement practice that calls forth the best listener that one can summon um, to give an avenue for expression in the dance. There are accomplished dancers in there. I myself come from a dance background. And so people who are trained in the um, forms of dance will come and find a great opportunity to express their technique, but in a whole new uh, venue of, uh, of expression. Uh, I have um, many elders more and more as I age, more and more of my people are showing up. So uh, I have people in the room who've never danced before. I think what the, the beauty of, of the practice is it's, it's very simple in, in its approach. You know, like we'll spend time getting into the intricacies of merely shifting weight. It's really about relationships in the, in the final analysis. We come to dance together because we want to be in contact with one another and we want to you know, be touched physically and or um, etherically uh, by what's going on in the room. And, and then, of course, there's the music. So, you know, we, 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 we respond to music in such lovely ways. I, I just think the dance is spectacular because it, it does help an individual come down from the tower of thought and start to tap in again to the body wisdom. You know, the, the ancients and the traditional peoples have understood that the wisdom in the body. I think the brain, uh, one of the first brains was like kind of down, down in the belly area. So um, yeah, I'm a big believer that while I'm in this body, I would like very much to um, get to know it, um, uh, let it be used um, fully. The, the dance for me has always begun um, from the inside, um, from, the, from the imagination, from the sense of spaciousness, from tracking um, uh, motion uh, f be, be below the skin surface. Um, so uh, my approach to the dance um, has always been a first uh, to establish the the sense of spaciousness inside and uh, moving from there. So any technical prowess um, does not rely on you know muscular activity for me as much as it does from an, a kind of inner resourcing of of of, of energy flow. Uh, you know these are the traditions of qigong and tai chi. Um, um, so the, 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 the reason that there's a, even an outer dance is that there is this interior dance that happens first and then that interior dance is translated to the surface of the skin and then that surface of the skin dance is projected out to, this, to the force field that's around us. So, so in some ways we have like three dances going on at the same time, but it always begins first um, um, on what's happening internally as simple as the breath, you know, what, what's happening to the rib cage during a breath pattern, for instance. As far as practicing what we offer in the everyday, it, you know, it can be truly as simple as, you know, finding yourself standing in line somewhere and you're, you have options, you know, you can stand in line and put your mind 14 miles away, or you can stand in line, soften your gaze, soften your knees, track the weight of your foot and transfer the weight from one side to the other and uh, allow motion to happen and see how standing in the line can change for you. I mean, it can be that simple uh, to bring in uh, a aliveness and vitality uh, while you're, you know, in, maybe in a humdrum situation where you could just go off and get impatient. So there are many, many ways that um, simple, the simple practices of, of uh, we call embodiment uh, or presencing can uh, be taken to the everyday. I'm, I'm very big on that. I, I just, a lot of my teaching uh, centers around uh, how this is, you, how you can utilize what we do here 
when you go out to your families or to your workplace or just being in community. Personal practices that in my life that keep me going is one, I am a spiritual practitioner. I have a teacher and a, a, um, uh, that um, helps me and guides me. Um, I have a daily practice. I have a daily um, sitting practice. Um, and then I, I, do, I do my utmost best to, um, to live uh, off the cushion in, in ways that are um, compassionate and um, relaxed. I also am a, a student of Qigong and a student of yoga. And uh, those practices sustain me. I also live with a cherished beloved uh, of many, many decades. Uh, and interacting uh, with her uh, uh, and being in relationship and learning how to be more human and reflective and uh, sustains me. I, I'm, I'm definitely a work in, in progress. So the practices that sustain me are, are those that um, help me understand uh, um, that I'm, I'm, I'm one of the bozos on the bus, you know. I'm, I'm doing what I can to, um, I get, I, can I just say it? I'm doing what I can to be a better human being. I, I cry easily in public um, for no apparent reason. I remember when I moved to Portland, Oregon, and the weather patterns there are really, you know, cloudy, how my whole being rejoiced, just rejoiced. Um, uh, about that in internal, you know, um, atmosphere. So I would say um, I'm basically an introvert who loves an audience. <laughs>